So in this video, we're going to talk about elasticity of supply. There are really three cases of the elasticity of supply. And the first case is the supply is perfectly inelastic. Now, this is the case if the supply curve is vertical and if the elasticity of supply is zero. Uh, that is when quantity supplied regardless is quantity supplied is fixed regardless of price. So no matter how much the price changed, uh, the providers still provide the same amount of uh, quantity. And this, yeah, this is the the graph that illustrates the perfectly inelastic supply. And um, the second case is when supply is unit elastic. Now, supply is unit elastic if the supply curve is linear and it passes through the origin. The slope is irrelevant, and in this, in this case, the percentage change in price is equal to the percentage change in quantity. So let's look at this. Uh, this equation that I'm currently tracing. Now, if we change the 40% to a 26%, that is when we have unit elastic uh, supply. And a th this is really a special case that occurs when the um, when when the supply curve passes through the origin. So when uh, what you know it is unit elastic when the linear supply curve passes through the origin, and um, no matter how steep the supply curve is, as long as it passes through the origin and it is linear, then the supply is unit elastic. Now, the third part is where supply is perfectly elastic, and that happens when the supply curve is horizontal and the elasticity of supply in this case is infinite. So this would be an example of that. You can see that it's a horizontal uh, curve. The elasticity of supply is uh, infinite, and that's just a model illustrating our perfectly elast elastic supply. Now, one thing you need to know is that, well, an example of this is that, uh, let's say, there is a price at which sellers are willing to offer any quantity for sale. And in such a case, we will have a perfectly elastic supply. Now that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the next video, we're just going to talk about uh, factors that influence the elasticity of supply. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.